The financial services industry is evolving. We see this every day with new companies that are trying to democratize access to the financial markets, that are trying to target younger and underserved segments of the population, that are trying to bring trading and wealth management to mobile platforms so that their customers can manage their finances while they're standing in line at a coffee shop or waiting for an Uber. Apex Clearing embraces this change. Apex champions the evolution of the financial services industry, and we specifically build technology to power the firms that transform this space. We bring you faster, less restrictive, and less obtrusive methods for financial institutions to interact with their customers. If you think about what customers expect of financial apps today, it's the same expectations they have of any other app they use. They want an intuitive interface, they want an engaged community, and probably most importantly, they want instant gratification. In today's world, everyone expects that they can download an app and then instantly start using it. Apex VR tech platform is the only clearing firm that supports instant gratification. We allow customers to open brokerage accounts in seconds, fund them via common and simple methods, and then immediately start trading. Historically, this process of opening and then funding a brokerage account has been both high cost and high touch. This is where Apex is revolutionizing the financial services space by allowing real-time, end-to-end interactions via our APIs. Now, usually, when we say Apex clearing, nobody has any idea what we mean. What is a clearing firm? What does a clearing firm do? What are the services it provides? Well, a clearing firm is essentially a bank for securities. We guarantee that when a customer buys or sells a share of Apple or Tesla, that the shares and money trade hands efficiently and securely. In some sense, we are like the plumbing that connects customers to financial markets. At least, this is a simple definition of a traditional clearing firm. Apex is not a traditional clearing firm. We, of course, handle all of those traditional processes, but we also offer a technology platform that allows fintech firms to innovate. We are predicated on leveraging technology to bring financial services to customers in the most efficient and cost-effective way. Today, we're going to show off Apex's platform by buying Emily some stock. To demo this, we're going to open an account at a made-up brokerage, we're going to fund it with a debit card, and then we're going to buy a fraction of a share of Emily's favorite company. We're running this demo live against our UAT environment, but in the interest of time, I'm going to make some simplifying assumptions during the account opening process. So for example, I'm not going to collect suitability or employment information from Emily. The UI we're using was developed at Apex specifically for this presentation. The code for this UI and some of the command line apps I'll use in a few minutes are available to all of Apex's correspondents. So let's get started. To open an account, I just need a couple pieces of information from you, Emily. I've got your name. What email address do you want to use? Ehour at apexclearing.com. I've got a fake social in here for you. What's your date of birth? 61087. And your address? 350 North St. Paul Street, Dallas, Texas, 75201. Finally, I just need your phone number. 214-765-1100. All right, let's open your account. So while that's happening, I'm going to talk a bit about Apex's API platform. We've built our APIs to be developer-friendly and front-end agnostic. They're modern, intuitive, restful, and extensible. Much like Stripe is a platform for online payments, we're working to build a financial services platform that enables develop to developers to focus on their code and app design, not the nuts and bolts of finance. We follow modern web development standards and conventions. Our APIs are organized around REST, and we've developed them to yield predictable URLs and response codes. Our authentication and authentication is based around the OAuth2 client credentials grant workflow, and we're able to communicate real-time updates via an interface that was inspired by Apache Kafka. So while I'm talking, we're opening Emily's account. There's a couple things that's happening. First, RUI has submitted a new account request with Emily's information to Apex's account management platform. That request is going to be received, validated, persisted, and then we're going to return a new account request object to our app. At that point, we're going to start to work Emily's account request 
through a KYC workflow, we're going to do an identity verification check, and we're going to uh, run her identity against a series of derogatory lists we maintain in-house. We do this so we can be sure Emily is who she claims to be and that she's not a known terrorist or fraudster. Finally, when that workflow completes successfully, we're going to open Emily's account on our books and records. So, Sam, how long does this process usually take? In our production environment, the account opening process typically takes between 15 and 20 seconds on average. The timing here is key. According to a survey of 12 major clearing firms in the industry today, the typical account opening process takes between 5 and 10 minutes on average, with some of the major clearing firms clocking in close to 20 minutes. And half of these firms withhold the official account number and inform the user that they will review and get back to them within 24 hours in order to start the next steps for funding. At Apex, on our API platform, a customer can complete the account opening process in approximately two minutes. And then they are immediately prompted for funding. This means that a customer never needs to leave the page and check back later in order to open an account and initiate funding. All right, Emily, so now that we've got your account open, let's go ahead and fund it. Do you have a debit card on you? I do. Well, I don't actually need it. In this case, we're going to use some fixture debit card info since we're running in UAT. How much money do you want to transfer into your new brokerage account? Well, is there a minimum? There's not a minimum at Apex. Awesome. In that case, I'll transfer 100 bucks. All right, 100 bucks it is. So Apex recently released new functionality. Today, we offer the ability for a customer to fund their brokerage account with a debit card. So instead of ACHing money or initiating a wire transfer, which are the industry standard methods for moving money into brokerage accounts, a customer can now pull out their debit card and fund their account in the simplest and most common method possible. So if a customer can open their account in seconds and then fund it through a familiar method with a debit card that they probably have in their wallet, they're far more likely to complete the process. Now, among online RIAs and brokerages, the likelihood that a customer abandons the process of funding their account if they don't immediately do so once the account is opened is greater than 50% on average. At Apex, we are building real-time APIs to reduce this abandonment rate so that our clients can acquire as many customers as possible. Today, Apex Clearing is the only major clearing firm that supports debit card account funding. While Emily was talking, we successfully funded her account. Much like a typical debit card transaction, there's two steps. The first step is to validate her debit card info and exchange it with Apex for a unique token. The second step is to use that token to charge her card. In this flow, we don't need to collect her address because we've already got it on file with her account information. Finally, the debit card charging process takes a few extra seconds. That's done on purpose. We want to ensure we can place a hold on, we can place a hold on funds in Emily's bank account. Once we know that hold has been placed, we can instantly credit her brokerage account with those funds. So Emily, now that your account's been funded, let's buy you some stock. What do you want to buy? Well, Elon Musk is my idol, so I'd really like to buy a share of Tesla. But I'm pretty sure that Tesla's trading around 230 bucks right now, and I only have $100 in my account. So it's not actually a problem. At Apex, we support fractional shares. The idea is you can buy equities in terms of dollars rather than whole shares. So think of it like this. How much of your 100 do you want to invest in Tesla? How about 85 bucks? All right. Under the covers, RUI is talking to an OMS that's routing orders to Apex's execution gateway. Our execution gateway maintains connections to all the major equity and options exchanges. It also supports smart order routing. In this case, the market's closed, so our OMS just responded with a fill from our inventory. All right, Emily. You now own $85 worth of Tesla. That's 0.366 of a share. You've got $15 left in your account. Congratulations. Awesome. OK, so let's review. In the demonstration today, you saw a quick UI that we developed here at Apex to show how a customer can open an account, fund it, and trade on our platform. We strive to empower online RIAs and online brokerages to specifically focus on developing their own user experience so they can uniquely market their brand to their customers, while Apex handles all of the back-end back -end technology and custodies their assets. So our APIs allow you to open an account in seconds to then immediately fund it. We have no account minimum, and we support fractional shares. 
The result is a platform that, that you can leverage to offer your customers immediate and unfettered access to financial markets. Apex enables fintech firms. Here are some of the firms we work with today. We've now got a few minutes for Q&A. Thanks, everyone, for your time and attention. Come check us out at our booth or visit our website to learn more about how Apex can help enable your firm. All right, excellent. We have two questions. Um, can you talk a little bit about your testing environment? Sure. So um, our testing environment is a total replica of our production environment. We support it 24-7. Um, we try to do everything in UAT that we do in production. So you can open accounts. You can run into scenarios where ACHs are returned, debit cards don't fund, uh, accounts get closed because um, identities are on known fraud lists, et cetera. And we, we supply fixture data for all these various scenarios. People often ask, can we perform load testing? Can we run our integration tests, et cetera, against your testing environment? And our answer is, of course, that's, that's what we support it to do so that all of your testing can be done against our UAT environment. Um, what do you have in the way of documentation and sample code? So we supply high-level documentation, we supply low-level Swagger docs, and we supply sample code in Java and Python for all of our APIs. We share this via an organization on github.com, so you can join our, our organization, have access to uh, repos that are organized by application, so account management, cash transfers, authentication, et cetera, uh, and find everything you need there. All right. Thank you so much, you guys.